Hi, my name is Bobby Joachim and in this moment I'm going to answer another difficult question that people have varied interpretation towards when it comes to the Bible. And today's text is from Mark chapter 9 verse 29 and he said to them, this kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. And you know, when you read this text, the first thing people think about is what was around the scenario that Jesus made the statement. And it's very exciting because the scenario, scenario is clear that Jesus now goes back, if you backtrack in that same Mark chapter 9, you go back to verse 14. And when he came to the disciples, he saw a great multitude around them and scribes disputing with them. Immediately they saw him, all the people were greatly amazed and running to him greeted him. And he asked the scribes, what are you discussing with them? Then one of the crowd answered and said, Teacher, I brought you my son who has a mute spirit. Now pay attention. And wherever it seizes him, it throws him down and foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth and becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out, but they could not. And he answered him and said, O oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Then they brought him to him. And when he saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. And so he asked his father, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from childhood. And often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out with tears, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Very important to pay attention to that. Now verse 25 says, And when Jesus saw the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, Death and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. Then the spirit cried out, convulsed greatly and came out of him. And he became as one dead, so that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? The disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? So he said to them, This kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. And so the very interpretation people get is that many times when you want to cast certain levels of demons, you need to engage in prayer and fasting. Nothing absolutely wrong with prayer and fasting, but here and this in this context rather, Jesus is not pointing at the essence of maybe prayer and fasting or the kind of prayer you should pray when casting out a demon. What Jesus was pointing about, the key word and the phrase that has troubled people is this kind. Again, when you read contextually, you need to read other episodes that this was painted by other writers in the New Testament. And Matthew makes a record of, the, of this exact thing. And if you see Matthew chapter 9, 17 verse 19, Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? Focus. The subject is it. Why could we not cast it out? So Jesus said to them, Because of your own belief. Now take note of that. Matthew 17 says, because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. So what Jesus was saying was that there was unbelief. Now remember the scenario of Mark paints the fact that the father cried out. Jesus said, if you can believe. And Jesus has said to him, oh, faithless generation. Now, Jesus said, if you can believe. And the man said, help my unbelief. 
Now, the disciples again, according to Matthew, Jesus is pointing out that the key thing that is not helping them to execute that demon out of the body of that, that individual, that boy, is because they had unbelief. And so if you read that it has been unbelief, unbelief Jesus has been attending to, you cannot come to that particular verse and say this kind is not about the demons. What Jesus is still inferring by this kind was about the unbelief. And he's saying that what happens is that prayer and fasting puts you in a place where you are positioned to believe in God absolutely and your faith rises up. So prayer and fasting helps our unbelief. That's what you can literally say. It helps us to understand that with God, nothing is impossible. Because you see, you want to think for a moment and ask yourself, was there any instant where any of the disciples had to go and fast and pray to cast out demons? That's a valid question. None. They didn't do that. They fasted. They prayed. Jesus himself in Matthew chapter 4 fasted, right? He fasted and he was without food for many days, 40 days. And after that was what we call the temptation. He didn't need to fast to cast out a demon. But you see, what fasting does for you as an individual is that it raises your faith up. And your faith is in a person, is in Jesus Christ. So when you read that context, you can actually say that this kind, right? Unbelief of this kind in addressing the situation does not go out except by prayer and fasting. And we are commanded in scripture to give ourselves to prayers, to give ourselves to fasting. If you read Acts chapter 14 verse 23, they fasted. We see the early church demonstrating a lifestyle of fasting. We see Jesus exemplifying that. This is by no means calling down the fact that fasting and prayer is not important. What we are saying is that when you fast and pray, your faith rises up. Your faith in God and you are capable of doing the impossible. Every time you read Matthew or Mark chapter 9 verse 29 and you see this kind, remember the context was unbelief and Jesus was addressing their unbelief. Both to the father of the child and for his disciples, he was addressing unbelief. I do hope this helped someone out there. So like, share, comment and of course, subscribe to this channel. Cheers.